Hello, Jesse Good here, and today I'm taking a look at the Lego Monkey Kid Sandy Speedboat set. This has 394 pieces, four minifigures, five if you count the cat, and it retails for $60 in the United States. Not 70, 60. The first minifigure we'll take a look at is the Spider Queen. Now this is a minifigure that has new face, torso, and leg printing with that newish dress piece. Also a new piece all together up top with this headdress. This is a rubber material and it's pretty similar to, uh, what was it, Hella's from Thor Ragnarok. And if you look at the back, she has an alternate facial expression where she looks a little bit annoyed. I like how that doesn't look super menacing, it's just kind of like a ticked off face. <laughs> and she also comes with this build for a really nice two-bladed weapon. This set is a third set of the theme to include Big Fig Sandy. I do like the design of this Big Fig with the unusual colors of blue and orange kind of mixing together. I also like his track looking pants. <laughs> and the design of this does have a religious reference where it, apparently these beads are like religious beads. So that's kind of interesting. Now the design of his weapon is the same one that comes in all the other sets. So that build does get a little bit repetitive. But uh, my only complaint would be just give me a variant of Sandy. I know he comes in three sets, but change maybe the eye design or something. Just to change it up between sets. It's not a big deal, though. Oh, and Sandy also comes in the HQ set, which is 170 and the bull tank, I believe, which is 50 bucks. So this is the second cheapest way to get him. Pigsy also comes in this set, and he has the design that was in the food truck set, which only came in that one set, so it's nice to see it here. Though that other variant is now on the same tier of this, coming in two sets as well. Oh, and if you're new to the Monkey Kid line, I guess I'll show it one more time. This head of Pigsy is awesome. I hope we get more variants of this in different designs so we can have more pigs. Unfortunately, the Monkey Kid of this set is the most common variant in the entire theme, at least so far. This version has a face print also used in the Demon Bull King, the Flame Foundry, and, oh, the Monkey Kid Cloud Jet. The torso and legs are the common outfit, and you can see his alternate face. He has a more angry expression. And of course, the Monkey Kid has the Monkey King staff, which has these new lightsaber end pieces, as some people call it, the longer version. And finally, we have Mo the Cat reappearing. This design only comes in the HQ set, which is the most expensive set of the theme. So it's really nice to get it in a cheaper set, even if it is still an overpriced set. And for the build of the set, there's four separate builds. We'll take a look at the namesake boat first. This design has a really strange look that almost reminds me of some 2000s action theme builds, but also it has an airboat look that is unconventional for Lego. There's a color scheme that's also very unconventional for Lego. So there are some interesting parts here. It's not a, a generic build. This is definitely a memorable build, but as a whole, I just feel like it doesn't work. That color scheme feels a bit too wacky. There's a lot of open spaces with the build that just make it look a bit more simple than it should be. I think maybe if they uh, put the piece count a little higher or bumped up the age range, we would've got a really cool build. When LEGO makes builds for big figs, it always intrigues me because they have to have enough space to have them standing. And there's not too much space to have Sandy standing where it feels really cramped at points. You have him standing in this position and that's about it. <laughs> because if you push him back, this part, his, his butt just gets in the way of this part right here. And if you push him forward, well, the front of the boat gets in the way. I kind of wish they had a little bit more space to have Sandy standing. With such an expensive set, you think they could have added a few extra pieces, right? And it gets even more crowded when Sandy is holding his weapon. And if the staff does get in the way, there's actually clips on both of these sides to have it clipped on there and just held in place. This design does have a little space for Mo at the top, which is pretty adorable. There's a fish at the back, one by two jumpers to have Mo stand on, and then this rapid stud shooter, which by twisting this, the studs go everywhere. For those wondering, it doesn't really move up and down, though you can get a little bit of movement there. And clearly this set has a bunch of stickers with one on top here, one to this side, not on the opposite side though, but we do have one at the bottom here, as well as another one on this next night shield. Three at the front, I like the little Mo sticker there, one at the top here on the next night shield. Two to the side, as well as one all the way at the end here, where we have these little bumper stickers. I do like the build for the boat controls where it can move side to side so you can kind of adjust it and also move the switches up and down. And it actually looks like Sandy is controlling the boat. And this part at the back in this blue color is exclusive to the set. And while the box assures that the models do not float, they do have little wheels at the bottom here so that you could just kind of push it around and play around with it on the surface. There's a build with this mechanical spider, which is actually kind of cool. I like the look at the back with this spider holder and they give you three spiders to just dump on the others. These are really nice to get. Also, you can just close it with the clips there. Nice space to put the spider queen on, which we'll show in a second. And there's a sticker at the front, I like the little green eyes there. 
All of these legs are clipped on, so you can move them up and down and position them as you'd like. And you can easily plop the Spider Queen on front there and it attaches really well together. For the build of the Spider Queen lair, this design has a web piece which is clipped on so you can move that back and forth. Also, we have that new green flame design which comes in a lot of Ninjago sets from this wave. Just a simple little side place that build to put Pigsy trapped inside there. And finally, the Monkey Kid has a build that's similar to his build from the White Dragon Horse Bike, where we do have a surfboard-like design. This has two stickers on it. That attaches at the front there. And then there's also this new piece at the back, which has a pole connection. This is in all of the new sets for this wave, if I'm not mistaken. The box is a $40 box. That's the price it should be. And at the back, we have some different shots of the set. As for the instructions, at the very end, there is an advertisement featuring all of the sets. You can see that right here. And it even has updated artwork featuring some of those newer characters from this wave. I'll be honest, I like the set more having it built than when I first saw it. It has grown on me in some aspects, but that's not really a compliment uh, because I still don't love this set and I still don't really recommend this set. The design of Sandy's speedboat is interesting, which is good. I like interesting builds more than just a boring build but it doesn't succeed in most of its parts. I, I feel like they should have toned down the colors, maybe cut one of those colors, and then made it a little bit bigger. I know for once I'm actually asking for an oversized vehicle, but for a big fig, it felt very, very cluttered. The design of the Spider Queen mech is actually probably my favorite build here. It's the layers, whatever. The Monkey Kid build is okay, I guess. Mini figure selection is one of the best parts where you get a lot of rare figures in a cheaper way than some other sets. Sandy, this is a second cheapest way to get him, but Mo is in a drastically cheaper way. Pigsy is in a cheaper way. Uh, the Spider Queen's exclusive. Uh, I do think they chose kind of a common Monkey Kid, though. Uh, so yeah, with all things considered, I just... That $60 price really, it, it, it makes it hard for me to recommend this right away. So I'll, I'll give this one a C. It's probably one of my least favorites of the Monkey Kid line, and I just wish they would have adjusted that price and that bill just to tweak it there, and it, it would have made so much of a difference. But that's just my two cents. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.